December 31st. Uh, Happy New Year's Eve to everybody. Uh, when this video actually is gonna go up. Sorry for the truck noise. But when this video goes up, it is gonna be New Year's Day. So I hope 2017 is everybody's go-to year. I hope you guys find everything you want on for 2017, all the bucket list things. Uh, it's starting to rain. Uh, it sucks. But um, this is actually a park I hit really, really hard right before I started making videos. This is where I dug a bar recorder, um, a couple other, like a shield nickel. My first shield nickel was here. Um, so we're gonna hit it for a while and see what comes up. All right, I popped my hole. And looking back at me, wouldn't you know it, there's a marble. I love, absolutely love finding marbles. It's been a while since I found one too. This one's like a chocolate swirl. I don't know. I don't know marbles, but I like finding them. So we're gonna lay that right there. And I had a signal in the, in the plug. So hopefully it's a, a nice little spill of some sort. I see a nail. You know, gotta love nails. All right, well I had a deeper, deeper signal, uh, pull, clear to pull tab, and I got a little bullet. It's tiny, not that old, but I'm moving locations. So I've been here for over an hour and it's just not panning out. So we're gonna go somewhere else. Well, down in this hole, uh, I got a Evansville Class G. There's a three, and it says 1921. Back's all crowded up. I actually got the front to come pretty clean. I like that. I'm not sure what it is. It could be a like a chauffeur's license or driver's license. I don't know. If any of you guys know, leave a comment. Let me know. It's awesome. Whatever it is. All right, right at the tip of my shovel. I uh, I typically find a lot of bullets at parks, and I get confused. But this one, this one's really strange. It's a light filled 20 gauge. It's a slug ground. That's crazy. People even have rounds like this in the middle of a park. Oh, and it's gone forever. Well, it's getting dark on me. Um, you can see the darkened soil. I popped out a coin. I thought I've hammered this place so hard. I didn't think I was getting any more coins out here. It's just a woody. I thought it was gonna be an older one than what it is. It's it is pretty worn and everything, but it's only a 1941 wheat cent. First old coin out of here today. All right, guys. I was I mean shine my light down there. There's a giant root right there. It was down under it. I knew I was gonna hit it, but I'm trying to get the light on where you guys can see it. That's a buffalo nickel. I literally. If I dig old nickels out of here, they're usually buffs. I don't want to focus, there you go. Yeah, if it's it's a no date. If it's, uh, end up having a date on it later, I'll let you guys know. All right, well, I think I got a hem weight. It came in kind of like a zinc penny, it was deep, and there's a four on the other side. Let me flip it over for you guys. So there's a four down at the bottom, you can see it. Um, I think it's a hem weight, but I'm not sure. I thought hem weights only had one bar going across. That'd be pretty cool because uh, Zeb found his very first Hemway. I believe it was his first one. And uh, I think I just found my first one. All right, well, we got some uh, some good looking stuff going on in the hole down here. I wish I had a way to hold my phone light. All right, we're down here and where my shadow is. You can see it right there on top of my shadow. I'm gonna pull it out. It's a spoon. Honestly, I thought that was going to be silver. It came in good. At least it's all intact. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. I thought for sure this is going to be my first silver spoon. It sounded so good. There might be some marks I can identify it on the back. Hang on just a second. And we're back. Uh, I believe it's a uh, Rogers and Co. manufacturer. It's really hard to see. But yeah, it's a nice little spoon. Pretty deep too, about four inches deep. You guys can't tell because the lighting sucks here. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep going. 
Well, welcome to, day two, to today's wrap up. Um, this is actually being filmed on New Year's Day. Sadly, I didn't get everything done last night. We'll start with the trash. I got a lot of trash. No idea what that thing is. It's like I think it's a rubber piece of iron going through it or something. A, little, a very odd bottle cap. Beer bottle tabs, you know, the usual. I uh, got a nice little row of copper pennies. This is a 64. I found it on my last stop in a top lot. A little bit of dimes, dollar and quarters. Uh, whatever this thing is, I'm not. I'm not really sure. It was. It was decently deep. Got a clock gear. A little piece of a harmonic reed. Key. What kind of episode would I have if I didn't find a key? This one looks like it's broke all the bits. Um, this is actually, I found this at the property of the farmhouse, which she told me that there was rings lost there, and this wasn't one of them, of course. That's okay, though. I love I love finding rings. Got a little bitty bullet. Got a little bitty bullet casing. I think it was deep. Three wheats. 1950, 1929, and in 1941 was in really good condition. And this tag. I'm gonna put a picture of it because I got a really nice picture of it. It says Evansville, Class G. There's a three and 1921. I think it's a, a chauffeur's license, actually. It's pretty cool. Happy New Year to everybody. I hope 2017 is amazing. For everyone, I hope everyone clears a lot of their stuff off their bucket list. If not all of it, that would be pretty cool too. Um, I have a long list of things on the bucket list I still wanted to scratch off. Um, this year, the main thing that I wanted to scratch off was a gold ring. I've never found gold. Uh, I've always found plated gold, which, you know, sucks. But it's still nice. I ended up finding my first gold ring in episode 12. At a high school that I've I pounded and pounded, I knew there was going to be jewelry there, so I just kept going, kept going, kept going. Finally, found one. I mean, I couldn't I couldn't ask for a better year, and I'm hoping 2017 is just going to top it. Well, this is the, going to be the last video for 2016, even though it's going up on 2017. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you guys next week. First dig of 2017 coming up soon. Happy hunting. See you guys. Next week.